Hey guys, welcome back. Let's see the startling continuation to this war to this level. Um, <laughs> looks like Kirby's just lounging about, but there's work to be done. God damn it! Oh, but it's the <laughs> level. Never mind. I've got plenty of lives. So I'll go ahead and grab this maximum tomato. I was actually afraid of that. That after all that build up, that this would actually be the end of the level. But no worries, because we got the boss to worry about now. Ooh, man! No, baby. This guy is pretty crazy awesome. Ow. Um. Ah. The point to this one is that he's got a bunch of different attacks, or a bunch of different, well, a bunch of different abilities of attacks, if you will. All the stuff he drops is, uh, has an element to it, but only its own element can hurt it at that time. For instance, I have Needle now, and if I were to attack him, no, he's just gonna roll around like an idiot. If you saw there, it deflects it. See, he's only he's only uh, hurt by his uh, by whatever he is at the time. He's only hurt by whatever gah, whatever ability he has at the time. So it's it it's hard to explain, but once you see it in action, it makes a lot of sense. I have the cutter right now, and I just damaged him because he was cutter. So it's that sort of thing, which is why I had to get rid of my ability because well, it's there's no way <laughs> once once a uh, once a stage of him is completed. You don't see it again, and as a result, you see these little holes everywhere. Yeah. Oh god, but I'm down to one hit. As I, as I suck at talking and ex I, I suck at playing games and explaining them at the same time. Yeah, there's he's doing that little thing, and then that little thing. Yeah. Oh, get out of there. Oh, I thought I could get it. Ooh. Oh, jeez, I jumped right into it. Crap. Ah, uh, thought I could be all fancy about it, but no. Alright, well, at least now that all the explaining's done, I can <laughs> devote more attention to actually fighting him. Uh, it's a cool, it's a very cool concept, though, and I like how they incorporated a little bit of everything as far as the abilities are concerned. So it's, it's nice that they give you a nice variety. I mean, all the bosses up until now, if you had say, the Bomb Plus Cutter ability or something like that, it pretty much made any boss easy, as we saw with the, the Killer Shwale <laughs> from, from Aquastar. So it's it's nice that they they make they almost force you to mix it up a bit. Well, in fact, no, they do force you to mix it up a bit. So it's nice to nice to see a game enforcing some variety. Yeah. Yo, yo. So if I can get one more hit in before he transforms. Hey, or finish it, even better. I don't know why I went out of my way to get another ice thing, but... I'll get ice plus, plus ground. No, I won't, because that one's stupid. Ouch. Ah! That's a good thing, too. That was blowing up all of my ammo. This one's bomb, which... Oh! Which is... Which is dough. Gah, oh, man. I can't seem to stay away from these damn things. Oh, Man. Hit this place. I don't know why. <laughs> get rid of it. I personally think it's a lot easier just to shoot the ammo item rather than swallow the ability and try and get the... Oh, nice. Rather than swallow the ability and try and hit them with it. Oh! Jeez. I don't know. It just, just seems a little bit more practical to me. And a little bit easier time-wise. Yeah. Let's see if I can get around this one. Uh, shit. Hey, but I get to damage him. Hiya. Oh, that one didn't count. That's stupid. Give me your worst. Boing. <laughs> so that's cool. They just deflect off of them. Hiya. And one more? Nope. Yeah, I thought I'd try. This one's always pretty easy to stand by. Or to uh to avoid, that is. Bam. Oh, you're finished, son. Or just about at least. Well, I'm almost finished for that matter too. Boing. It's probably easier just to stand on this one part. Alright. Well, I think he's just got... Oh, I haven't even... I didn't see that one. Ugh, yet. Get that out of my house. Eh, yeah, spit your fire. Whatever. You're done. He's got one hit left. It's this one. Uh, can I do it? Uh, oh, no, 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 no! Ah, <laughs> that would have sucked. Yeah! It's finished! 
You done, son? We got a big ass crystal to boot. That was good. Woo! That was rougher than I remember it being, but well, it's finished. And another cute cutscene as a reward. Yay! Now it's not creepy, it's just regular happy, not creepy happy. Woohoo! Victor Dance! And pretty fireworks, man. That's the best. Also, all that ends well. I ran off into the sunset. And all is well in the world. Or is it? <laughs> but yeah, it's, there's more to come. Don't you worry. Um, I think I had hinted... If I haven't said it before, I'll, I'll say it now at least. Um, obviously, there's plenty of crystals to be had. And I quite clearly missed a good bunch of them. Um, there is a secret... Well, I guess not so secret ending to this game. And there's... If you collect all the crystals, then there's... A little bit more fun to be fun, sexy adventures to be had. So we'll be getting to see those, um, hopefully soon. As with every other game I've done thus far, I'll go back, get all the stuff that I that I had missed off camera, try and try and do that as quickly as possible. Probably, I can imagine it'll take probably less than a week or so. Um, grab all those, then come back. I'll show you. I'll, I think I have to. I'll think I'll have to do is beat that boss, that same boss, over again. It'll show you a slightly different cutscene, which will lead to a new story arc that we would have not seen otherwise. So, we have that to look forward to. Uh, but we got this nice little credit sequence. Um, I can't remember how long it takes. I think we've got about four minutes left on the video, so I'll just let it keep going. But, well, this was the majority of the game. It's, like I had said, it was the first Kirby game that I ever played, and, of course, I'd fallen in love with the series as a result, so... Oh man, it's it's a good one. It's definitely one of the one of the best games on the 64, and one of the best games of the time. So, it's, if you haven't played it before, I su I strongly suggest that you do. Even after, even if you've watched this whole LP through, you still haven't really experienced the game until you've played it yourself. So, this is I can't recommend this one enough. Oh man, I, and and I love the, the uh, some of the. Uh, what I guess you'd call it concept art for that it's showing at that it's showing us at the end here. So some of the pictures are there. It's just cute to see what they what they kind of come up with. Um, oh wow, that actually didn't take very long at all. And then we're treated with uh, the opening the opening stuff and well yeah, guess that's about it. Well okay, never mind. I thought that would, I thought that was gonna take forever. But in any case, um, let's see how far along I've come actually. Seventy six percent. Well that's not bad. So a way that I can view. Um, is there a way to, like, where I can, s like, actually see how many crystals I have and how what I've missed? Uh, something? No? Okay, well, I'll figure all that out later. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, but, yeah, if you could look at these values, 100% is level 7. So, like I said, not trying to spoil anything, but there's plenty, of, well, there there is more to come. Um, but, anyway, thank you guys for watching thus far. Expect another video. I can't imagine it taking more than one video. Um, up in a couple days, I I'm easily less than a week. I doubt it'll take that long to find everything that I missed, but expect that before long. Um, thank you all for watching. There's still more Kirby awesomeness to be enjoyed, so don't go away just yet. Thank you guys, and I'll be seeing you when the new one's up. Have a good one.